Hello there, fellows. It's going to be a quick little video today. I've had a couple comments asking what do I craft in Stronghold for profit? And while the answer isn't anything crazy, I th figured I'd make a video since clearly you guys, some of you at least, are interested in learning. Easiest way to do this is through using a crafting calculator, as there's only really a couple in my opinion things worth crafting and the thing that i craft almost exclusively is just fusion materials because i'm lazy and these are always profitable basically always i should say but let me pop over to the calculator that i use right here for you guys let's take a look here you easymari.com you go up here to tools stronghold gold farming tool and then you just kind of put in what the prices of things are on your server so we'll, let me pull up the prices of fishing mats here because fishing is always going to be the cheapest so let's pull up fish if i help if i could spell fish right so let's say they're 15 pearl probably gonna be three yeah then oriha let's say 13. okay let's pull up easy mari again so you can see the last time I calculated this was quite some time ago. And then these are worth 11. And then let me check HP potion real quick. So these are going to be 129. These are going to be 51. And let's do flowers as well. This is just what you guys do to see the crafting costs of everything. These are going to be 14 and the green ones are going to be. So these are the prices for foraging mats, fishing mats. These are the prices for fusion mats and the potions. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll down, input the information that is accurate to your stronghold on this. Um... This is just what I'm running right now. And you can see all these stats if we come over to Lost Ark again. You can see all these stats over here if you go to Stronghold Effects. Yeah, here. So you can see, you scroll down and see exactly what you have. So for crafting time, I have negative 6.5. Crafting cost, negative 3. Energy consumption, stuff like that. And then great success chance. And then special great success chance and stuff like that. So you just copy this information into the website right over here. Make sure it's all right. And then you just hit calculate. And then down here, it'll show you the profit per hour and then what mats you use to make it in the, uh, well, the excavating one we didn't do. So let's take that out. And also the hunting we didn't do. So let's take that out there. So it'll only show fishing and foraging. So you make 60 gold an hour making splendid HPs, 50 making that. But basically you can see it's just free gold, essentially. And there's no reason not to be crafting something pretty much all the time. Like, yeah, you're only making 100 gold per hour or so, but assume you're crafting something 20 hours a day. That's an extra 2,000 gold a day for doing quite literally nothing and this is all assuming you purchase the mats from the auction house specifically to craft and it even gives you the earning calculated per hour with the auction house fee already so this is exactly what you'd be getting so that's everything hopefully it helps you guys out and obviously you can do this for any stronghold items you want um but again I'm lazy, so I just basically exclusively do fusion mats. Sometimes I'll do potions if they spike up really high, but right now, yeah, not worth doing with the current prices, in my opinion. Yep. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped uh, the couple of you out who were looking for this. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the usual. Dislike if you dislike it. Leave a comment below if you want a specific kind of video. I'm here to help you guys. Love a lost star. ETC. Alrighty. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.